Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to It Me Weekly for the first week of December. It's going to be a busy month, or at least that's what I'm shooting for. So let's go ahead and jump straight to the schedule of the week so you guys can see what is going on. All right, so first thing that you're probably looking for is Dark Heresy. Uh, Total Biscuits got Shoutcraft America on Saturday, so no Dark Heresy. But I promise we're going to try and play... At least once this month, because we didn't play it all in November. We have now eclipsed the longest amount of time we've been going without a show. The second thing you probably notice is roleplay R&D. And what the fuck is that? Um, I think I'm actually going to leave it as somewhat of a surprise. Uh, we're going to be doing our first episode on Saturday. Um, I should be able to get all the graphic work and everything done by then. Maybe have a slight delay. We'll have to we'll have to see. I think I'm getting the logo on Wednesday and then all the graphics on Saturday. Regardless, that's going to be kicking off at 4 p.m. EST. Um, I don't really want to talk about who's on the show or what it is. I want that to be a little bit of a surprise. And uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm pretty excited for it. Um, it does not replace any existing shows. This is not a replacement for Dark Heresy. None of the other shows are going to stop being made. It is just a fourth show. And I think that's as many as I want. There won't be any other added. Uh, four is a good, a good place. And I think this show will allow, um, enough variance to where I should never need a new show because this one kind of always changes. So yeah, we'll just have to see, uh, or you guys will have to see uh, what the show actually is on Saturday. Uh, we'll be kicking off 4 p.m. EST over at twitch.tv slash hitmejp. Um, the other thing that you're probably noticing is the Real Talk uh, with Jeff Green is going to be happening on Friday. I'm going to record that offline. Uh, it'll be posted up on YouTube in three parts. So if you want to check that out, the first part will be live Friday evening, then Saturday, and then Sunday for the final piece. Eben on Thursday at 4 o'clock EST. No roleplay D&D this week. Uh, Jen's over in Sweden, and I really don't want to do a, a show with a person in the other part of the world with a bunch of other people around them, and it just it won't facilitate a, a good show. So we're not going to do roleplay D&D this week. Um, we'll play next week when she gets back. Um, Tuesday and Wednesday, we're going to be doing Twitch streams starting at 4 p.m. EST. I'm not sure what I'm going to be playing. Maybe Killzone. It'll definitely be something next gen, although I do need to finish Mario. We'll really just have to see what I'm feeling when the stream kicks off. Uh, Sunday, I'm going to be taking the day off, and that closes out the week in terms of Twitch. On YouTube, we're going to be doing uh, some new stuff. Um, one of the things that uh, I've kind of just spur of the moment, well, we're going to have roleplay VODs, Eben, and the R&D VODs. Um, I'm also going to be doing a JPOV of Zoo Tycoon on the Xbox One, a game that I have not purchased yet. But I think it's one of those games that not a lot of people talked about at launch. And from what I have been told, it seems to be pretty good. So we're going to take a look at that. And I'm also going to be doing a playthrough of Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 starting later today. I'll be posting that VOD up on YouTube. That is going to be a YouTube-only thing. I will not be streaming my experience with that simply because I'll probably be playing it uh, in 30-minute chunks uh, to post to YouTube, and it's just much easier to record it with that. Before we jump away from the schedule and jump to the fan mail, I do want to talk about December in terms of the content plan that 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 I have. So for Roleplay, we have all four shows. We've got Roleplay D&D, Roleplay Eben, Roleplay Dark Heresy, and Roleplay R&D. Um, and we'll try and do as many as those as we can. Um Seems most of the people have kind of died down in terms of what they can and can't do this week, or sorry, this month. So we'll try to fit as many role play episodes in there as we can. Uh, we're going to be kicking off Real Talk again. Uh, I've already got Jeff Green confirmed, as I spoke about earlier. He's going to be recording Friday. If you don't know who Jeff Green is, shame on you. You should go Wikipedia him. He's not the football player. He is the game journalist, uh, EA employee, PopCap employee. He's done a lot of stuff. He's pretty important uh, in the gaming industry, so I'm real excited to talk to him. Um, I'm working on a second uh, Real Talk. I don't want to reveal whose name it is because if they do decline, then I don't want that on them. Um, but uh, it's someone, it's a big streamer. Um, 
Should be a lot of fun if he does confirm, and I think he will. I don't, I don't envision a world where he will not, but you never know. Uh, some of the other JPOVs that I want to do are uh, going to be focused on the free-to-play games on the PS4. Uh, that is Warzone, DC Universe, Blacklight Retribution, and War Thunder, whenever that gets released. Maybe I'll just make a European account and download it. Um, I think the free-to-play games are... They've been covered, but only on other platforms, and they haven't been covered yet on the PS4. So I want to take a look at that and really figure out uh, what it's going to be all about and if it's worth your time. Um, of course, we have the Zoo Tycoon JPV, which I've already spoken about. Uh, the Let's Play of Baldur's uh, Gate 1 and 2 Enhanced Edition will be going up uh, probably every single day. And I'm going to try to make those roleplay themed in the sense that a lot of the characters and stuff that I introduce or sorry, that I create and introduce the party will be based off of other party members. And then finally, uh, there has been a lot of talk for state of the game, and we will be doing a holiday episode. Um, I think we're going to shoot for the week, the last weekend before Christmas. So I, I think, I think, is that the 21st? Let me look, let me look. Yeah, I think the 21st or 22nd, that Saturday or Sunday is what we're shooting for. Uh, we haven't locked in an exact date or time yet, so probably by next week's It Me Weekly, I'll have that for you guys. And that should close out December. There might be a couple things that I throw in there at random, and we'll really just have to go from there. So that's it for the schedule and the content plan for December. Let's go ahead and jump into some fan mail. All right, guys, first question comes from Turbo Phoenix. Turbo Phoenix asks, Neil mentioned both on Twitter and Evan that he was doing a single-player D&D campaign. Would you ever consider doing one yourself? Uh, yes, he actually is doing a single-player campaign. It's over on his YouTube, which I believe is youtube.com slash koibu. Let me just pull that up just to make sure. Uh, no, that is not it. Maybe koibu with a zero? Yes, koibu, K-O-I-B-U zero. Um, that's where he's got all of his Baldur Gates episode as well as Love Bites and his new uh, single player campaign. It's DM'd by one of his friends. I was watching it last night. It seems pretty good. So uh, if you want to check that out, please do. Would I ever consider doing one with myself? Um, possibly. I, I think if I ever did something like that, it would have to be in a drought of other role plays. Um, and I don't foresee that happening now that I have four shows. Um, but you know, you never, you never know. Maybe if roleplay D and D kind of goes on uh, somewhat of a hiatus, or any of the shows do, we'll we'll do a single player campaign in one of those uh, one of those environments. So, thanks for the the question, Turbo Phoenix. I do oblige you guys. You guys should go check out the single player campaign that Neil is doing. Uh, Vods will be posted on his YouTube over at youtubecom koibu 0 Second and final question comes in from Imagine Forty Two. Do you worry with so much roleplay going on, especially with the fourth show in the works, that you or the repeat cast members will start burning out on it and have have it get to where you feel like it's more of a job than playing because it's fun? I don't think so. Um, that's one of the things that I worried about uh, a little bit earlier on, and I think it's one of the things that happened with State of the Game towards the end of it, at least for me, where I was, I was disinterested in the scene and it started to facilitate a bad show because of that um but lucky for me there's no scene with roleplay D&D. the scene is the game and i feel like each episode can change and while i might be bored of a character i can do things in the game that allow the character to do things that wouldn't normally happen like what i did with azrael um where i just kind of stripped him of his his magical powers. <laughs> so I think that just creates a, a fun, interesting dynamic now for the party. Uh, we'll see where that takes us in the future. I, I am not tired of any of the shows, uh, and I don't know if I'll ever tire of it. Um, it's more, I'm more interested in, in how big I can make these, these shows. And that's one of the things I'll be working on moving into 2014. It's just kind of the overall production value and, and what we do with that show. Uh, so thanks for the question, Imagine42, as well as the gift that you sent me in, in, the, in the mail, which my P.O. box can be found on twitch.tv slash hitmejp. If you want to send me something, I will gladly accept it and uh, might even start doing some mailbags in the future. So that's all the questions I got for uh, fan mail. If you guys want to send me any questions, you can go over to reddit.com slash r slash hitmejp. There is a sticky post at the top of the page. Simply post in the comments there, and I will uh, hand select a couple each week and answer them as we go. So guys, this, that's it. Um, 
Hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving if you celebrated. If not, hopefully you had a good weekend. And uh, one last thing before we go, I'm going to try and get some shirts up this week. Um, and we'll really we'll talk about the shirt. I'll make a separate video for that. But what I'm trying to do with, with shirts is I don't want them to seem like a giant charity case. I think making a shirt and just slapping a logo on it is incredibly lazy and not cool, and it's not a good piece of merchandise. So I've been working with, uh, with Kelly Toki, who was responsible for the Roleplay Ebon map, and uh, we started to design a shirt that has no relationship to anything that I do. Um, it's just a cool design. So hopefully you guys will uh, enjoy that, and we'll try to get up later this week. I'll have a full video here on the YouTubes for that. Guys, I'm out. I'm going to go record some Baldur's Gate. We'll put that up on YouTube tonight and probably go get some dinner. We'll see you tomorrow for the stream, if you're going to check that out. If not, we'll see you on Role Plays later this week. That is Evan and Role Play R&D. I'm out, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.